Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. We've arrived at Roswell. Roswell? Roswell. Ros won't. Let's get moving before we get seen by this thing. We got a commander very, very far away. I would not want to have to fight waves and waves of enemies trying to get 200 units away? Meters? Probably meters. Well, I think they heard me trying to break the boxes, so let's just not do that, huh? Sneaky way. Or is this just secrets? Oh no, this leads somewhere. Ah, I see. Okay, so I can get past the big robot using this. Cool. Nothing. I don't think there's anything over there, so let's go up here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll with it. At least I know where to go. Now the door to further in is not quite on either end. Oh, look at all this food. My God! They must have like a really nice cantina. Pretzels and steaks and french fries and pie and... Is that whipped cream next to it? Mmm. Scared the hell out of me. Blitz munches. Frau Lane, Fox reveals everything. Uh, you can read this if you'd like. I'll scroll down. Shit, shit. Well... Where is that fucking commander? These robots seem to see me incredibly fast. Like, if they see you for just half a second, they've found you. It's not like they're sort of half alert, and then they need to keep seeing you. Nope. So, oh shit. I guess I can always duck down, <laughs> make myself flat. Uh. So I gotta hit those two buttons, obviously. The commander is down there somewhere. I guess I gotta hit the buttons first and then I don't know what that activates, but yeah, the commander isn't in this area here. Maybe you're just supposed to shoot him and just go for it. Well. All right, let's go from a covered position.
Okay, now I think it's safe to take one of these laser guns. Armor, armor, give me armor. nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby. That laser gun is so fucking cool. I love it. Yeah, commander's alerted, but I don't think they can actually send anybody after me here. Oh, this whole thing's moving. Oh, I don't need to activate that both, just one of them. You should save keep set was talking about. Jesus. Hope there's an auto save or something. I think there is one when you go to press the the lever. Save keep set was talking about. Just gotta reload, nice. <laughs> you can't open wood crates with this laser. <laughs> Why? You can disintegrate metal panels but not wooden crates? Shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's a problem with that laser gun. If you don't take your time and make sure you get everybody before you progress, you just move so slow you get shot in the back. Alright, let's get that reload again. It's all the way back here. Alright, here we go. But I gotta keep going, because here I think there are reinforcements. Alright, I'm just gonna drop this. Let's go. Get the freaking commander! Yeah, fuck you! <sighs> Is there no one left at all? there'd be a couple. Alright, I'm gonna gather some supplies. 
Lutz Meyer's research note, Hesenkamp. How does a man just disappear? By not following the rules, that's how. Helmut accidentally dropped a 300 kilogram dot you should artifact on the floor, causing a reaction that made him and the artifact disappear in a blinding white flash. His colleague, Sander, received third degree burns and his safety goggles melted into his face. What did Helmut do wrong? Come on, guess. Ding, ding, ding. He didn't properly secure the artifact. Safety, people, it's number one. Tell your team that Helmut's memorial service is scheduled for Friday. On another note, Elka discovered that a Jew named Set Roth escaped from Camp Bel uh, Belica with the terrorist William Blaskowitz. This man is rumored to be a living member of the Dot You Should. He may have information on the origin of the artifact from the shipment. Because of an embarrassing paperwork failure, the Jew slipped under their radar and the idiots let him slip away from their very hands. Send out a team to investigate his whereabouts. I think we go somewhere this way. Franca's Postcard, May 29th, 1961. Dear neighbors, we're having a marvelous time here at the resort. Little Albert is in the pool all day long. I'm afraid he's going to turn into a fish. Franz started speaking to the owner of the resort last night. Turns out he's from Frankfurt, just like Franz. Can you believe it? Apparently, after the American territories were liberated, he found this place in ruins. Took him just two years to rebuild it all into this spectacular slice of heaven. What a wonderful man. Franz was up all night talking business with him. They serve authentic German food here, too. How's everything back home in Saddlebrook? Thank you for taking care of our house while we're away. I think we're so lucky to have such wonderful neighbors like you. Next time, it's our turn. Franka and the Eichmann family. Is this like a filming set of some sort? There's markers all over the ground and a bunch of film reels in the corner. Well, I guess this is not where I need to go. Oh, here. So, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. You want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. Okay, I missed the first one, but the second one was a headshot. With a freaking hatchet. It's pretty impressive. Okay, so I gotta remember that I don't need to silently take down the last commander. So if I could see him from here, that's fine. Let me get my hatchets back. Somewhere that way. Hmm. I don't see them. Oh, there's an observation thing up there. Yeah, they're probably way up there. A little fucker. Alright, gonna have to take it slow. Or I could just run for it. Oh, that's dot you should technology. Is that the artifact? Might just be a artifact. This way, don't look this way. Ooh, that's a robot ready to activate. I don't think it can see me though. It seems to be on standby. There's the commander. Oh no, there's a puppy. Oh shit. Should I just shoot?
I feel like I didn't kill them all. Huh? We better stay on the move with this thing, otherwise we just get pelted. Or keep something very tall in between me and it. Alright, here we go. it's going to be to kill one of those things. I only encountered one of those once, and I didn't even kill it, I just avoided it, which I suppose I could try to do here. I could try to run past it, but I want to defeat it. Seven hit points, literally. Nope, not getting in that orb. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, maybe I'm not fighting that thing. I assume you can kill them, right? Should I try? I just saved it. Let's go with double shotguns. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. That thing is just brutal. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know. If I stick my face out for more than a second, I just get flamethrowered. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. Keep running, Nazis. Where are you all going? Alive, and apparently a melee attack or whatever that was from one of those small robots is instant death. Keep running, Nazis. Never looked in here. Should be a bunch of armor here. Maybe. Kinda. Alright, that should be enough. Those things are sort of terrifying.
I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, and dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. What, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special? Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. I was wondering about that ring. I figured he must still have it. I wonder if that's going to be the end of the game. Maybe Blaskowitz finally realizes. Or, I mean, I can't say realize because I don't know if that's actually true, but finally finds out, realizes, comes to terms, whatever, uh, that he's not dying, because he probably isn't. And then in accepting that he's actually going to be a part of Anya and their child's life, maybe gives her the ring. This is going to be really interesting, going through our family home. Maybe horrifying. I don't know, it depends what we find. If we get more flashbacks, then, well, yeah. Well, for now, I think I'll end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.